moisturizers and moisture factors. However, those moisture factors, like in the skin, on your arms or anywhere else in your body, just more extreme on the lips, they're fatty. So you want to think of a fat problem, and when I think of a fat problem that's going on for decades, like your husband, guaranteed there's an absorption issue at the gut level. It could be the liver, it could be okay. the gallbladder, it could be the intestine. He has, he has something like a chronic diarrhea probably, IBS or ulcerative colitis symptoms, that kind of thing. Does that sound familiar, Anna? Yeah, he definitely has digestive issues. Okay, good. I, I'm, this is, I'm not psychic. I'm just telling you how it works. So right away, you need to focus on the digestive system because he's got 20 years or probably more, really, of digestive yeah. problems, probably since he was a kid. How old is he? He's 35. Okay, so he's young. That's good news and bad news. He's too young. That's the bad news. And he's young that he can recover, young enough to recover. That's the good news. Right away, start working on the gut. Probiotics. I don't know if you can get our longevity products over there, but if you can, the Nightly Essence. A nine a day. If you can't, find a good probiotic. You know what I mean when I say that, Anna? Probiotics? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. The best one you could find. Go multiple on, strains. Uh, tangy tangerine right oh, you, now, you, so we just started that. Get on the nightly essence. Three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. Make sure he's using his ultimate enzymes after all his meals. Start eating more fatty foods with the ultimate enzymes. Use things that stimulate bile secretion. Uh, stomach bitters, perhaps. Swedish bitters, they call them, uh, okay. uh, parsley at the beginning of meals, dandelion greens at the beginning of meals, things that are bitter at the beginning of meals. It's a great strategy for folks who want to stimulate bile. Lecithin okay. with all his meals, you know what that is? L-E-C-I, mm -hmm. lecithin. You can find that anywhere to go for non-GMO, of course. Lecithin. Okay. There's so many different during things you can do. after meals or during... Uh, with his meals, with his meals sometime, okay. sometime with the meals. Make sure he's on his ultimate EFAs, nine a day. That's a must-have. 20,000 okay. IU of vitamin A a day is a must-have, not optional, especially if he's got these kinds of symptom, this kind of symptomology. And he's is gonna that have in the BTT? Or no, you have to get that extra. You'll have extra, to get that extra. Okay. 50 okay. milligrams of zinc picolinate a day, you'll have to get that extra. Okay. I, I would probably be tossing in some uh, around 400 IU of vitamin E a day. If you can get A and D capsules, put mm -hmm. a little pin in there, break it open, and use the A and D right on his lips. Okay. Okay? And I'm Great. going to motivate here. That's tons of strategies. But I would really encourage you to take this very seriously. It's a bigger problem than just peeling lips. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. Thanks Thank so much so for your much. calling. Good luck. Okay. Uh, Chapman in South Carolina. Oh, we just lost Chapman. Chapman, I was about to get you, and you hung up. Let's go to Angela in Florida. What's up, Angela? Hi, uh, Ben. I have a question for you about a topical prescription drug, if you can tell me anything about it. What's I got it called? a sample of beta chlorbestazone. Beta chlorbestazone? Uh, uh, I think it's C-L-O-B-E-T-A-S-O-L. -E Spell the whole thing. B-E-T-A-C-L-O. Mm -hmm. B-E-T-A space C-L-O. Oh, that's a brand name. What's the generic? It's, it's probably beta methasone. That sounds like a that's the brand name of it. Uh, beta, it's a steroid. Is it, what are you using it for? Um, on the face. Um, I know it's for eczema. And I, okay. when I used it, Here's, it made the face. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. It made the face what? Um, it made, for the first time, my face feel like one sheet of skin and not porous or dull. Got it. Um, Here's the deal. Here's the deal, Anna. They're shutting down your immune system. The skin is loaded with defensive mechanisms. One of those defensive mechanisms, or, or one of those defensive mechanisms, when it's activated, causes cells not to grow correctly. So it's a sign of defense. It can be compounded by a lack of fatty nutrients. Between those two factors, you've got your solution to eczema. Not just for Anna, by the way. Listeners, anybody out there dealing with eczema, between uh, uh, something getting into the body that's activating the immune system and problems with fats and fatty vitamins, you have your solution to eczema. The doctor's solution, what you're using, Angela, is to shut down the immune system. You can do that, and like you say, you know, you, obviously if you shut down the immune system, you're not going to have inflammation, but that's not the way, that's not going to help you in the long run. It's not going to take care of the problem. If you have something getting into your blood through the digestive system that's activating an immune response in your skin, it's happening inside your body too. You're just not seeing it. And in the long run, only God knows what's going to happen. In terms of the immune system, you don't want to be messing around with that. Secondly, if you're deficient in vitamin A, and omega-3 fats and maybe even omega-6 fats, you're going to have deficiencies, you're going to have uh, uh, problems with deficiencies in terms of your bone, in terms of your hormones, in terms of uh, wrinkles later on down the road. So you're not solving the problem. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're getting all the fatty vitamins, kind of like our last caller with the peeling lips, all the fatty vitamins, particularly A and D. 
and also zinc, A, D, and zinc, are, and I don't want to de-emphasize E and K, but A, D, and zinc primarily, 20,000 IU of A. Uh, also, I would be using uh, getting out in the sun, that helps, and also 5,000 IU maybe of vitamin D. And then uh, nine of your EFAs a day, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night, probiotics to help you absorb the fats, and if you have any digestive problems, those need to be corrected. And I hope that helps you, my dear. Um, I want to get one yeah. more call in, okay? Thanks for your call. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Take care. All right, it's got Chapman back. What's up, Chapman? Hey, Ben. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Is that your name, Chapman? Uh, your... Yeah, it is. Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool. But What's you know, going on, Chapman? Karen. What's well, that? I called you. I, I've talked to you before. Um, I'm the chef from South Carolina that kind of cured herself of the rheumatory. I remember. Uh, you used digestive process. stuff. You, you cooked your way. You ate your way to cure yeah, yourself. Yeah, that and, you know, I supplement with a lot of your stuff, you know. I do the BTT, and, and that's, that's nice. been really good. But, you know, a lot of these people, man, they got to cut out the grain. A big, big gotta, problem. Big problem. And they got to get on the ghee. They got to eat, like, you know, pastured meats and, you know, the, the diet with the, with the cheese and everything. They've got to get with the program and realize it's all bottom-up stuff. Chapman, you know, I wish you would call. Can, it from the top I want you down, to, man. Chapman, I want you to talk to me more. Can you go out call me tomorrow or call me sometimes in the next few days so we can talk? Yeah, I have to go. I got absolutely. one more call I'm going to get. Call you, I'll, I'll call you early. Call me at the beginning tiny, of the program. I've got a tiny bone I'm going to pick with you, but it's just tiny. I, I want to hear it. I want to hear okay, your man. bone. Okay. All right, I'll give you a call back. Okay, Chapman, thanks. Socrates, I'm sorry. I, I only got about a minute. What's going on? I love your name, though. Socrates. That's all right, Ben. We've talked in the past. I, I just remember. wanted to say, I think it's uh, quite evident to that you live your life intellectually, honestly. And the, the first job that you ever had was Kmart. And you had, in giving people antibiotics, you suggested probiotics. And they said, Ben, you're just not Kmart material. <laughs> you like, do you remember? How, did, you, did I tell that on the air or did you come to one of my talks? That's exactly what you, happened. Yeah, you, you told it on the air, and it's a story that that really uh, emanated with me. Because pe uh, people actually, you know, always tr like, struggle with their, their moral consequences of the actions that they're doing. And I think kind of, it, you really work at Kmart material. I really do think that set you in the right direction. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate that. That's the last word. So much, thanks so much for calling and pointing that out. I appreciate that. Yeah, Kmart, that was a funny, funny experience working at Kmart. Oh, my goodness. Kmart Pharmacy. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for listening friends. We'll be back at you tomorrow. We'll talk some about Invocana. We'll get your phone calls and we'll do all the good things that we do on the Bright Side every day. Thank you so much for being with us and we will talk to you all later. Bye for now.